Okay, so I'm doing my other hand. I really, really like these colors. That's good. Really good. And also, when you're putting your flowers on, the other thing you want to do is be mindful of the length of the nail. See how short my nails are? Don't put like 85 flowers on there. Don't do that. Don't do that. That's not even cool. It's not a cool look because then you can't see nothing. All of that work you did under, at the bottom and making your little boxes and stuff, you can't even see none of that because you got like 35 flowers. So remember not to put 40 flowers. <laughs> Don't put 40 flowers on there, you know. Space them out. Give yourself some space because you're going to need room for your other colors. Or you don't even have to put, like, really, I could leave this the way it is, but because I love my petals, I think I'm going to add just a, little, just a little bit. Can you see that? I'm going to add just a little bit of my green in there because I just I just love how that looks. And, uh, what else? Oh, let me tell you what happened to me today. I'm going to Walgreens, right? And as I'm pulling into the parking lot, it's this handicapped man and this woman with him. I don't even know if she was handicapped or not. I, I really don't think I was paying that much attention to her. I just noticed that he was handicapped. And what I, what made me really notice him was, was he, um... He, he was like extremely tall, like he had to be ever a bit just real tall, like over six feet, over, probably over six three. He was tall, all right. So, you know, it was an older gentleman. He had to be probably like maybe in like his 50s, 60s, you know, older man. So anyway, so I'm pulling into the parking lot. As I'm pulling into the parking lot, him and the lady stepping off the curb, right? Now, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a polished driver. I've been driving for years, you know, since I was like 19 years old. I know when pedestrians come, you let them go first. But because he was all the way over there stepping off the curb, handicapped, and I'm not making fun of handicap at all. That's not the moral of the story. But I had time to drive up into the parking spot. So I think he got a little startled because not only was I coming in, another car was coming around that way. A car was maybe it was overwhelming for him. I don't know what it was, but you know, I, I actually, actually, I did stop for a second, like I slowed down to see how fast he was going to be able to come off that curb. But once I saw he was taking his time because he's handicapped, I figured, all right, I can go, right? I go, I pull a little, you know, pull into my spot, and. Uh, this is how long it took him to get from the curb to wick. He was parked right beside me. This is how long it took him to, took him to get from the curb to the car. I went to my parking spot, parked, wrote down some stuff in my, in my little checkbook, checked my phone, checked a text message, sent a text, me text message. All right, so I'm sitting there for like three minutes, right, before he even gets to his car. So I get out the car, I notice, hmm, that's funny. He sit, you know, he parked right beside me. He wasn't driving, the lady was driving. It was this big, like, church van or something. So, <laughs> it's funny, but it's not funny because I can't even believe he would say this to me. So I get out the car. <laughs> I get out the car. Minding my business, right? I get out the car. I got to walk past his car to get to Walgreens. Let me see my flower. So I gotta get. What I say? I gotta, I gotta walk past the car. Right? So I'm walking past, put my pocketbook up on my shoulder, and I just like you know how you just turn up, turn you know, look over your shoulder. You ain't really, really looking at nothing. Mm -hmm. I wasn't really looking at him. 
You know what I mean? I just put my pocketbook over and looked over. And as I looked over, he's struggling to get in the car. My first reaction was to say, do you need some help? Before I could even say anything to this dude, like, seriously, I wasn't even going to say nothing to him because I wasn't looking at him. He would say, I hope one day you get old. No, let me back up. Because <laughs> this was so ridiculous. He was like, I hope one day you handicap and got to walk across the street. <laughs> but you know how something just, like, catch you off guard? <laughs> you know how something, like, catch you off guard and you don't even really know what to say? So I'm like... So I just looked at him, right? And I kept going. And, like, you know how something can happen, but it happens so fast. It, like, it catch you off guard. Like, you don't even really know how to react. But as I'm walking, I'm thinking, what are you getting smart with me? <laughs> and why? So I'm replaying the whole scenario from when I first saw D stepping off the curb. So I'm like, oh, he must have thought I was trying to hit him. <laughs> Why would I do that, Do I look like somebody that would just pull up on Walgreens parking lot and hit a handicapped man? And you are an old handicapped man? You know what I'm saying? Like, that's not even who I am for real. Like, that's not me. And and I don't even, like, have no beef with the handicapped. I'm parking handicapped spots. I don't do none of that. So now, I'm, well, no, initially, I'm shocked because I'm walking away. I never responded to him. You know what I mean? I never said nothing. I didn't say anything back to him. Right. Because initially... I didn't think he was talking to me because I'm just throwing my purse on my <laughs> shoulder, right? So I didn't say nothing bad. I mean, even if I did realize, I wouldn't have said nothing bad. That was not disrespectful. He was an older guy, and he, and he looked like something was, like, wrong with him. <laughs> so he had, like, a couple things against him. But then when I got inside the store, and I'm sitting, and I'm standing in line, and I just keep replaying it in my head because now I don't feel right. I'm feeling a certain kind of way about it, right? And I'm just sitting there thinking, like, you already handicapped, and you gonna wish that I, you gonna wish handicappedness. Is that word? You gonna so. wish that I'm handicapped <laughs> because you thought you just assumed I was trying to hit you. I wasn't trying to hit him. I was looking out for him. If anything, I slowed down. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. And I started thinking, like, Lord, why? Why would he do that? Why would he wish that on me? You already handicapped. Like, if I was handicapped, I wouldn't be wishing that on somebody else. Cause I'd be scared, like I might get more handicapped. You know what I mean? Like, I would wish something would happen to me. You know what I mean? I, <laughs> yeah. not, I, wish, I would think if I wish that on somebody, that something going to happen to me. Right. Like, I believe in stuff like that. You right. know what I mean? But I was just sitting there tripping like, <laughs> dude, like, really got out on me. <laughs> and I was so oblivious. I wasn't even realizing, like, dude was really, like, <laughs> getting smart with me. Like, for no apparent reason. Across the street. <laughs> no apparent reason. Like, you know what I mean? That's hilarious. I, I don't even know what made me, what made me, get, I, maybe it's because it's still on my mind. I was just like. Can you say some of my mistakes? I don't know, man. I guess it's just still on my mind because I just didn't understand. I was just like walking away. <laughs> I was just walking away feeling real confused, like, and then I'm mad, like, yo, you don't do that. Why are you going to wish I'm handicapped? Why would you wish that on me? Like, you don't even know me. You know what I mean? I tell you, man. People, people just really need to, like, reevaluate their self. Reevaluate what you're thinking about before it comes out your mouth. I couldn't believe that. And, and it's like, he, you know, I ain't really, I wasn't really mad at him for saying it. I was just mad at the, at the, at the mentality. You know what I mean? You want to wish handicap upon me. Because you mad, you know what I mean? And, and it seemed like he had an attitude already anyway. Like, he was mad that he was handicapped. I felt bad for him. Right. I was going to help dude get in the car. He goes, <laughs>